I believe I am here to talk about search, uh, yep. some of the new usage reports uh, that we've delivered over the last couple of weeks. So I, I want to kind of be brief, be bright, and be gone. So I'm going to quickly walk you through some of the reports that we've recently introduced as part of our insights expansion for Microsoft Search. A couple of things to kind of level set on as we think about Microsoft Search, we have made a fundamental shift over the last couple of planning semesters to really emphasize SharePoint, Office.com, and by SharePoint, I mean SharePoint Home, Office.com, and Bing as our primary search canvases. Uh, we're starting to talk more and more about those as being our workplace search experiences. So workplace searches to us are those canvases to which you can retrieve an org scoped set of search results uh, in the results page, meaning you know data from not only the walled garden of Microsoft 365, but also any of your connected systems, whether you're using graph connectors or whether you're using our federated developer platform um, to do query time or index time merging of search results. So I kind of wanted to level set there because I get a lot of questions about usage reports in respect to why do they only show these three canvases? And those canvases are largely our org scoped canvases. So that's really where we emphasize our kind of search insights. Uh, so if you saw about two weeks ago, we announced uh, a couple of new uh, reports that have come to our search insights and our search and intelligence admin center. So I'm briefly gonna kind of walk you through a couple of these here. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice that's new is underneath the insights tab, the first thing you retrieve is what we call our overview page. Our overview page is largely uh, intended for you to have a quick at a glance view of search activity, um, which includes active and engaged users, which is a pretty new uh, function to our search insights reports as of recently. So on a day to day basis, any cloud platform collects metrics that we call Mal and Dow and wow, so you know your, your monthly average users, your daily average users, your weekly average users. And we felt that this might be meaningful information to not only kind of you know look at for, for our own purposes, but really bring to our customers. So you kind of get this parity in respect to the same telemetry that we're able to retrieve from search on your end. So if you kind of look here, this is a demo environment, so there's not a lot of meaningful activity. But uh, your search usage reports, at least the new ones that we've introduced, when you flip the little preview toggle at the top of the page, are only available starting from October and moving forward from October. So in this particular case, what we're looking for is a period from October uh, 2022 throughout the course of this month. If you want to look at the older search usage reports, you have to flip that toggle back to the classic search usage reports. So looking in here, you can see we have total number of queries our monthly active users, which is one, which is me, uh, the most important user in my tenant. And then we have the average result position. You know, where where was the, res the average result position? The one that I took action against and its corresponding click-through rate. So the one thing we try to look at is that result position. That's a good indicator as to how well search is performing in your organization or otherwise, are people finding what they need? Where are they taking action in that result set? If they're taking action on page three of the search results, you've obviously got a problem. Um, and that problem can be addressed in a number of different ways. You could configure a search answer, for example, uh, whether it's a bookmark or a Q and A, depending on how the query is expressed to promote that authoritative piece of content, that thing that people are looking for most frequently and taking action against. If we kind of move down, we've got a couple of other new reports here. Uh, as you can see here, you can look at the number of results that were clicked, in this particular case, 5%, versus the number of um, no results versus the abandoned queries. So if you kind of think about this, this is an indicator that search is not very successful in my environment because a hundred searches were performed. However, only 5% of those resulted in some kind of meaningful activity. If we come over to this side, 7% of them didn't return a result at all, but most importantly, 88% abandonment rate, meaning that a user uh, provided a query, they clicked enter, and then they took no action against the search results. They either navigated away from search or they didn't click a result at all. Um, so those that's an important kind of metric to look at to determine whether or not your users are able to retrieve relevant items. So you kind of compose your click through as well as your abandon. 
The other things that we've added are queries by country. So where are your users originating from, from a search perspective and by occupation. So from an occupation perspective, we pull this data from Azure Active Directory and we bring that in for you to be able to view. So who's actually using search inside of your organization? Not only by regionality, but by occupation as well as by their department or division. So this gives you insights as to, you know, who should you consider optimizing search for within your organization? And then as we kind of move down here, you can see our active and engaged users. Engaged users are those ones that it's searched at least five days during the month. And an active user is one that is searched one day throughout that given month. So, you know, your engaged users are the people that are using search most frequently. Those are your, your gatherers. And then on the other end, you have your hunters uh, that very infrequently use search, but they're still active because they're performing at least one query in the course of a month. As I described earlier, one of the things that we're doing is really emphasizing Office, SharePoint, and Bing as our dominant search canvases, because that's where you retrieve the, or that's where we provide the organizational scope um, from a search perspective. We do have plans to build on ramps into Outlook and Teams, so you can search within Teams in the future, you can search within Outlook, and you can retrieve an org scoped result by virtue of an on ramp that we'll introduce. And then what else is new is connection analytics. So down here, any of those systems that I've connected via a graph connector also now can participate in our insights reports. So as you can see here, we have total 30 total queries against our connected system. In this case, we have one connector. Uh, that connector is indexed 5.9 million items and it represents our one active connection. If you wanna drill in deeper, you can navigate right into these. So I can navigate right into query analytics. I can look at the most popular search terms. Um, for example, I can look at the top 10 no results and the top 10 abandoned queries, kind of moving into the user analytics side. Again, I can see my active users and I have a nice graph as to where they're searching. So in this particular case, as you can see, uh, we've had some active usage, at least initially with office.com. You know, that usage just kind of shifted towards SharePoint as being the dominant canvas. And as you can see, that trend is also true for Bing. So in this particular case, as you can see, our users are starting to favor the SharePoint start page over Bing or office.com. So again, this gives you an opportunity to kind of optimize for where your users are actually working, kind of that idea of bringing search to where your users are. If we kind of go through our engaged users, as you can see from a Bing perspective, we don't have any engaged users. Again, the engaged user is the one performing at least five queries in a given 30 day span. Our office users, we've seen a decline in this particular case, which correlates to our uh, very similar to our active users as well as the query analytics. And then as we look at the SharePoint start page, we kind of see you know, some ebb and flow from a start page perspective. And then the other new report that we've introduced is right down here, which is queries and click throughs by connections. So in this particular case, again, 30 queries um, that were returned by virtue of a connector result set. And then we have the total number of items that are indexed by our connector. And we can move down and we can kind of look at our connector and we can drill into some of these data sources to better understand you know, how search is performing inside of the organization. So really what our intent here is uh, from a search perspective is we recognize that search you know, takes time and time is money. So we're trying to continue to expand our reports to take that into account to help you optimize you know, for the best possible user experience to get people into search, but most importantly, to get them out of search. And that's kind of the intent of search. While we wanna get users engaged with search, we also want them out of search as well. So the quicker we can funnel in, the quicker we can funnel out, is kind of a key indicator of success inside of the search world. So again, we collect queries from across office.com, SharePoint, and Bing. And then we got a lot of questions as well as to, okay, well, what's going on with site collections? Um, you know, a lot of our users work within the context of site collections. How do we best represent that here? So the good news is, is we actually have a Canvas expansion project. So we're gonna bring much of this detail to SharePoint sites themselves, as well as being able to better look at activity across individual SharePoint sites inside of usage analytics. 
So we have a whole Canvas expansion project that you'll see kind of uh, manifest over the next couple of weeks in which you'll be able to have a more granular view of the individual site's performance inside of your organization. But site administrators will also get the richness of reports that you find in the Search and Intelligence Admin Center as well. Kind of moving forward, we're also working on adding some more valuable metrics in regards to time saved per employee. So we can interrogate you know, the time that they spent on the SERP, the search engine results page, um, and then look at that and compose that against how quickly did they take activity and then generate a report for you um, that's suggestive of how much time people are spending in search. The lower that time, you know, the more savings that your organization and inherit from search. So we're working on some of those reports over the next couple of weeks. And then starting related yet unrelated here in the next uh, week or two for targeted release, just to kind of give you an update on some of the work that we're doing um, that is a little bit different than this, we're also adding support for custom result types. So today you can create a custom result type um, using our MRT against uh, connectors or connector result sets. So whether that's an SPO connector or a third-party graph connector. You can create custom result types against that. And um, we're also gonna expand that report that so you can create more and more custom result types, particularly in the SharePoint Canvas. And then as we kind of look forward, we're doing a ton of incredible work against syntax with Microsoft Search, introducing machine reading comprehension to which we can perform document summarization um, in Search itself using natural language processing. Um, as well as adding um, a new transformer-based generative language model um, that's based on deep speed I.O. That'll be coming to Syntex. We'll have a preview in the, in the upcoming calendar year. So some really exciting work that's uh, on the horizon for those of you that are using SharePoint Syntex, as well as a tenant speller. So more personalized spelling suggestions based on the words and the phrases that individual users use inside of your organization. So as I mentioned, I kind of wanted to come in, be brief, be bright, be gone. So I will turn it back over to Vesa so he can uh, wrap up the conversation. Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you, Bill. Uh, really great uh, to have an update on the search site. There's so much cool stuff on the Microsoft search. Uh, it's great to have the, the updates on those as well. Mm -hmm.